2.5 lakh students are going to give CAT this year. Oh, that's a big number. But then you get really good packages after CAT. I mean, I've heard one of my friends got 30 lakh after IM. So you think you will get into IM after giving CAT? Obviously. CAT is for IIMs. 2.5 lakh students give CAT every year and there are only 2,500 seats in your IM, AB, CLI and FMS. Wait, 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 wait. 2.5 lakh students will be giving the exam and only 2,500 students will be going to the best universities. Wait, let me give you an understanding. 2.5 lakh students will give CAT? 2,500 will go to their dream universities. That's 1%. And out of 2.5 lakh students, only 10,000 students will go to average decent colleges. So that's 4% students who will be happy after a CAT exam. Oh, come on, dude. You're telling me that if I get 88 percentile on CAT, I'll get no good college. Yes, you would. No good college at all. I mean, I would get something. Oh yeah, you will get that one very good college. A uh, horse crap college. Yeah, that's it. You're not going to get anything at 80 percentile, 85 percentile. The colleges that you'll get at 80 to 85 percentile would be very bad. They'll just be there for money. Then they're actually considered tier two here in this scenario. Okay, so you're telling me that I cannot get a good CAT percentile and I'm not eligible to sit for CAT and I should not make my future. That is what you're telling me. That is what your plan is, right? You want me to be derailed, right? No, bro. I only wish best for you. What I would rather want you to do, rather than focusing one year to two years giving CAT, you can focus on your skills. You can make your profile better. And yeah, the skills would land me a 30 lakh job. Ideally, skills would land you a 30 lakh job. In fact, skills would help you earn more than that also. But if you still want to go to a college only because you're hellbound stuck on going to a college, why don't you think of GMAT? Oh yeah, obviously the expensive exam. He's being paid to say that go ahead with GMAT because yeah, obviously you know influencers, right? Come on dude, don't attack my credibility. I mean, you know that I will be honest to you. So let's talk about facts of GMAT versus CAT. Let's first of all talk about cost. GMAT exam is going to be for 20,000 rupees and CAT exam is just going to be for 2,000 rupees. I told you, he's in it for just money. He wants you to pay more money. Dude, let me complete. Shut up. Just give me five minutes and let me complete and then decide, then talk. Okay, so yeah, he's correct. GMAT exam looks like it is 10 times more expensive than the CAT exam. But for CAT exam, you will also have to take coaching. And coaching for CAT exam can go from somewhere to 40,000 to 60,000 rupees. So ideally, your expense for CAT exam would be 42,000 to 62,000 rupees. On the other hand, your GMAT coaching would be somewhere around 20,000 rupees. You can also go ahead and do GMAT on your own. You can do that for CAT also, but ideally, we only want a very good percentile in CAT and that's ideally not possible without coaching. But GMAT, good percentile can happen without coaching. I've already provided free services, free material for GMAT. You can also check that out or I'll leave some link here in this video. But yes, talking about GMAT, let's suppose you end up taking a coaching for 30,000 rupees. Rupees, ideally your expense for GMAT would be 50,000 only. So is that a big difference? I don't think so because for CAT you will be spending at least one to two years for studying. Average time duration to study GMAT is four to five months. Time is important. Time is worth money. Studying for a year would at least cost you six lakh rupees. Those one to two years you can actually work somewhere and earn six to seven lakh rupees. So ideally CAT is more expensive if you look at it from this perspective. Irritating. Okay, CAT takes more time. CAT is more or less same cost of GMAT, but CAT can take me to IIM Ahmedabad. I want the best college in India. GMAT can take you to IIM Ahmedabad and it can also take you to Stanford also. GMAT? GMAT. IIM Ahmedabad. What? Okay, so IIM Ahmedabad also accepts GMAT. Above 700 is a good GMAT score, okay? And 713 is what IIM Ahmedabad expects from you. 713 is ideally a 90 percentile and you have the chance to get into the best institute of India, IIM Ahmedabad. What do you have to say about that? Bro, but in CAD, if you don't have 96 percentile, IIM Ahmedabad is going to be very tough. Just get that 96 percentile on your GMAT exam. That is somewhere around 740. Your package from IIM Ahmedabad is going to be 30 lakh rupees. Your package from Ivy League is going to be 1.5 CR. Again, you had this internal motive. He wants us to pay more because he will be talking about Stanford. Stanford has a fees of 1.6 CR. And meanwhile, my IIM Ahmedabad only has 20 lakh fees. Bro, you're getting 96 percentile. We will get you a scholarship. I mean, there are definitely universities that will give you scholarships and they will have a better QS ranking than IIM Ahmedabad also. So if you're planning to get such a high score, give a GMAT, let's make your application to Ivy League colleges, but do understand that you would need work experience also. MBA requires work experience and good work experience. Not that you have worked for one year or two years. A good MBA would require you to have five to six years of work experience. Otherwise, you can look at a master's in management or a master's of science degree. Now let's suppose you want to go for an XLRI. XLRI has an average acceptance of 680 to 700 which is around a 86 percentile score. With an 86 percentile in CAT you're going nowhere. 
only tier 2 colleges are open for you with an 86 percentile on a gmat you have very much good options available for you now one amazing thing that i'll tell you about gmat is you can give gmat any time two times a year three times a year four times a year with cat if you go wrong one day you are done with your your entire year is wasted a fun fact 90% of the students that i talk to who end up scoring 0 to 90 percentile tell me that they had a bad day and you do not have any other chance if november 2023 goes wrong november 2024 is the next attempt that you can give but if you have a bad day on your gmat let's suppose you plan to give it in august you can book another session for september and one more for october and one more for november okay so i should not give cat at all cat is very important in india i'm not saying that don't give cat go ahead and give cat it's just 2000 rupees go ahead and register and give the cat but eventually if you're looking for a good future you can also look at gmat is what i'm trying to say in this video focus on skills end up learning python end up learning computer languages end up learning financial modeling end up learning any other skill any skill that gets you a job in india we do not get good work experience so in that case cat becomes important but if you can get a good work experience provided you're coming from a good college i would not recommend you to go ahead with cat i would recommend you to continue with your job and then eventually look for a good gmat score and then a good university now if you want to understand why mba requires work experience you should watch this video because here i compare mba versus mim so this video is good